Last year was one of the best years on record for crash safety in the U.S., and 33,000 people died on our roads. We have a long way to go to improve crash safety in the United States. One of the key things is to make them safer for a wider range of occupants. Small children, people who are sitting in the rear seat, people who are sitting in the front seat, and the focus of this study are older senior population. We've analyzed a lot of crash data from real crashes that happen out in the real world. And in those crashes, we've found that older people don't do as well as younger people. They get more injuries in the same severity crash. We think some of it has to do with posture and belt fit. In some of our early studies, we noticed some differences between younger drivers and older drivers. For example, sometimes older drivers sit a little more upright or slump more. And we also noticed that they wear their seat belts a little bit differently. And particularly the lap belt may not fit as well on older drivers as younger drivers. So this study is focused on that. We're measuring 180 people, and two-thirds of them will be over age 65. So we'll be able to quantify the age effect very accurately. So the current crash dummies are based on data on people's body size and shape that's many decades old. It was also collected using techniques that are pretty basic, essentially rulers and tape measures. But now we have three-dimensional coordinate digitizers that allow us to record body landmarks and we have a laser scanner that allows us to capture the whole body shape. So for the first time, we can get the information that's needed to create a crash dummy that's a lot more realistic. And not just a dummy that looks like a mid-sized male or, or a particular small woman, but the whole range of body sizes. Okay. When they come into the lab, we take a set of standard anthropometric measures. Then they sit in the vehicle mock-up. We have a driver mock-up that has a seat and a steering wheel and pedals, just like a typical passenger car. The subjects sit in those, and we measure their posture by recording the location of about 60 landmarks on their body. We can use that information to understand how well the belt is fitting them and how safe they would be in a crash. Wait, where's my model oh. release for? Great. Ah. <laughs> then they move over to our laser scanner. This is a three-dimensional scanner that can capture about 500,000 points on the body in about 12 seconds. From the laser scanner, we get a complete three-dimensional map of the person's body. We can turn it into an avatar on the computer that has the same shape as their body. So we can use this information in two ways. We can use it to create a new generation of crash dummies that have more realistic body shape. But we can also use it to create computational models of people. These are models in the computer that we can use to simulate a crash. A full-scale crash test with a real vehicle and a crash dummy is extremely expensive and time-consuming. So now, increasingly, the vehicles are optimized using computational models of people rather than crash dummies. And these data that we're gathering in this study will be particularly useful for that application.